people are always drawn to what you do. People slow down, toot their horn, or put their thumbs up to generally say you're doing a good job. It's something I've always wanted to do. I enjoy being in very interesting, varied parts of the countryside. And also putting something back in and keeping something that's been there for sometimes hundreds of years in good order. And just being part of something that has gone on for generations. I'm Christopher Rowe and I'm a hedge there. I was brought up in a very rural area in Shropshire, but that doesn't mean you cannot become a hedge layer. You come from an inner city or a town. It makes no difference as long as you have an interest in conservation and working in a, in a skill that is being revived. The hedge has been in the British landscape for centuries. If you're standing on a hill looking across, the, the hedge will define farm to farm and boundaries and lanes. Not to have a hedge in the landscape would be a great loss. So it's a worthwhile thing to preserve, not just for wildlife, but generally for the countryside and people who live and work in it. It's very rare that you'd feel lonely when hedge laying because you're so busy. But there's a lot around you to take in and also you are very focused because you're focusing on that bit of ground and that bit of hedge in front of you. The point of a hedge is, it's, it's something that is useful to people, it can be used for dormice, it's also good for invertebrates and insects, it's a habitat for bird life. For a farmer it's, it's a good way of bringing wildlife back into the landscape and also, importantly, a shelter for sheep and different stock in hot weather. Also, it just brings, it makes the landscape look a lot better than it would with just a barbed wire fence or some pig netting across the field. A hedge lane is a job that needs to be done to keep the hedge under good management. It will rejuvenate the hedge and also it's, it just keeps our hedge in good shape. It's a way of maintaining and keeping a hedge a thing in the working landscape. A lot of the tools I use are, some of them are over 80 years old. I use my father's bill hook or in East Shropshire or Central Shropshire, a brummock. I've got my grandmother's brushing hook, which is one of the handiest tools I've got. Using a tool that's been in the family for generations gives you a connection to the landscape and places your ancestors would have been before, from the north of the county to the south.
you're always looking down the hedge to see what's coming up to be laid in or cut out. You're looking for something that's going to fit into the hedge or you can fit into the hedge by manipulating and cutting. The um, pleaching of the actual stem, what you're trying to do, you're trying to reduce the size of the stem so you can bring it over easily. So what you're doing is you're selecting something that you think it's going to be make a hedge and then you'll start pleaching that. That is by reducing the bottom of the hedge and stem till a certain amount where you can just feel it start to go and then you just manipulate it down using your billock. You're trying not to snap that stem you want to bring it down so it's still a living hedge plant. You can usually feel when it's about to go, you can feel the movement. And what you do is you're bringing it over, you're just lightly trimming it. And just keep chopping away ever so slightly till it, you can feel it go and then place it into the hedge itself. You have, to, you have to know the different techniques, but it's something I enjoy doing and don't find, even though some hedges are hard work, I don't find it too taxing, even though on a cold December morning it can be, but it's, it's something I enjoy and it's something hopefully I'll keep going at. You find you start half eight, eight, and you're concentrated so much, the day's soon gone. You've done a day's work and you'll be back on the hedge tomorrow. It can be a long and hard day, but at the end of the day, it is a satisfying job and a rewarding job. And it's also a great thing to leave something for people to enjoy in generations to come.